ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟುಡೇಸ್ ವಿದ್ವತ್ ಸಭಾ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ವಿದ್ವತ್ ಸಭಾ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆನ್ಯುವಲ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ಯುವಲ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಟು ಇನಾಗ್ರೇಟ್ today's uh, seminar we are fortunate to have an expert from the commercial tax department is none other than dr b v murali krishna i request a brand chairman to escort the chief guest on the dais also request uh, our first uh, technical section session speaker madam annapurna karna kapra also join us in the i request a branch chairman to make welcome address request a chairman to welcome uh, our chief guest with the floor of the king thank you request a uh, welcome our technical speech speaker annapurna kapra ladies and gentlemen please welcome her request a brand chairman to make welcome address mangalam bhagavan vishnu mangalam madhusudana mangalam pundarikaksho mangalam gurudvaja sarva mangala mangalye shive sarva tasadike sharanye trayambake devi ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಕಿಮರ್ಥ ಮಂಗಲಂ ಕೃತ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನತಾಪೂರ್ವಕ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಪರಿಸಮಾಪ್ತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಮಂಗಲಂ ಕೃತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಪರಿಸಮಾಪ್ತಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಆದರೆ ಮಂಗಲವನ್ನು ಆಚರಣೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಆ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರವಾಗಿ ಮಂಗಲವನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸಿದ್ದಾಗಿದೆ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರಪ್ರಥಮ ಬಾರಿಗೆ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂಗಳವನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸುವುದು ಯುಕ್ತ ಅಂತಲೇ ಭಾವಿಸುವುದು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಮಂಗಳವನ್ನು ಹಾಡುವುದರ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಉದ್ಘಾಟಿಸುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂದಿರಿ ತರಕೆಗರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಭಾರತ ಪ್ರಾಂತೀಯ ಪರಿಷತ್ತು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಶಾಖೆಯ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಎಫ್ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಸಿಐನ ಈ ಸುಂದರ ಸಭಾಂಗಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನೆರವೇರಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ದಿವಸದ ವಿದ್ವತ್ ಸಭಾ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಆಗಮಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಆ ದರದ ಆಮಂತ್ರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗುಟ್ಟು ಆಗಮಿಸಿದಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುರಳೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ತುಂಬು ಹೃದಯದ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಮುರಳಿ ನಾದ ಹೊರಡಬೇಕು ಮುರಳೀಕೃಷ್ಣನ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮುರಳಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಹೊರಡುವ ಬೃಂದಾವನಿ ಸಾರಂಗ ರಾಗ ಯಾವುದಿದೆಯೋ ಆ ರಾಗ ಹೊರಟ್ರೇನೆ ಆ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಫೈಲ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುರಳೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವರೇ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾವು ಕೇಳಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರು ಒಪ್ಪಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಮಗದೊಮ್ಮೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಸದಾಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಶಂಕರ ಪ್ರಾಣವಲ್ಲಭೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯರ್ಥಂ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣೆಯನ್ನು ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ತುಂಬಿಸುವಂತ ಅಲ್ಲವೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ತಪ್ಪು ತಪ್ಪನೆ ಇದು ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನವೂ ಸಿಗಬೇಕು ವೈರಾಗ್ಯವೂ ಸಿಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತಹ ಅನುಗ್ರಹಣೀಯ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಉಳ್ಳಂಥವರು ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣ ಅವರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಿ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣ ಕಾಬ್ರ ಅವರನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನೀವು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ರೂವಾರಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಈ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸೆಷನ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿದ್ರೆ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಅದು ಸರಿಯಾದಂತಹ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಟ್ಟುತ್ತದೆ ಹೇಳುವಂತ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಅವರು ತುಂಬ ದಿನದಿಂದ ಒಪ್ಪಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅವರಿಗೂ ಸಹಿತ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ 
ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸದಸ್ಯರಿಗೂ ಸಹಿತ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತಾದರೆ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ನಡೀಬೇಕು ಅಂತಾದರೆ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ನಡೆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂತಾದರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಏನು ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಮಾನಸಿಕವಾದಂಥ ಅನುಕೂಲ ನಾನು ಬರಬೇಕು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳುವಂಥದ್ದು ಏನಿದೆಯೋ ಅದು ನಮಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗ್ತದೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೊದಲು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಸಭಾಂಗಣದಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಮಾಡುವ ಹೇಳುವ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಆದರೆ ಎರಡು ನೂರಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನ ಕುಳಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಂಬುದು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತುಂಟು ಆದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಂತರ್ಜಾಲ ತಾಣ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸತನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಏನು ಐ ಮಿಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಆ ಬುಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಆದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಐ ಮಿಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ನನಗೆ ಇದು ಮಿಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಅವಕಾಶ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿಕೊಂಡವರಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹುಶಃ ನೂರಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನ ಇಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ನೂರು ಜನಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಆಗ ಆದಾಗ ನಾವು ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡು ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಥಳವನ್ನು ಬದಲಾಯಿಸುವ ಅಂತ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಜನ ಬಂದರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮುನ್ನೂರ ಹತ್ತು ಆಸನಗಳಿರುವಂತಹ ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸಭಾಂಗಣವನ್ನು ಆಯ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡದ್ದು ಕೊನೆ ಕ್ಷಣದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇದು ರ್ಯಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಚೇಂಜು ಹೌದು ವಿಕಾರಿ ಸಂವತ್ಸರದ ಪ್ರಭಾವವೂ ಹೌದು ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ವಿಕಾರಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅಂತ ನಮಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಷಣ ಕ್ಷಣಕ್ಕೂ ಬದಲಾಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ನಮಗೆ ದಿನ ಬೆಳಗಾದರೆ ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಿಂದ ನಾವು ಕ್ಷಣ ಕ್ಷಣಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾವೆ ವೆನ್ಯೂ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇನ್ನೇನೇನೋ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಇದು ವರ್ಷ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಬರುವಂಥದ್ದೇ ಆಗಿದೆ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ವಿಕಾರಿ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ಇದೊಳಗೂ ನಾವು ಮರಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ರಿಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆಯೋ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ತಕ್ಕಂತೆ ನಾವು ಬದಲಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೇವೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಅದೇ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ವಿಶೇಷತೆ ಈ ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಎಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಯಿಂದ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆ ತನಕ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ತೆರೆದಿರ್ತದೆ ಹೊಸ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಬರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರು ಅಡ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಸಲುವಾಗಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರಿ ವಿಚಾರ ಮಾಡುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲದಕ್ಕೂ ಅವಕಾಶ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರವಾಗಿ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಎಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಯಿಂದ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆ ತನಕ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಇವತ್ತು ತೆರೆದಿರ್ತದೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸೇವೆಗೋಸ್ಕರವಾಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೇನೆ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ನೂರು ಇನ್ನೂರು ಜನ ನೋಡುವಂತಹ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟು ಈಗ ಆರುನೂರು ಏಳ್ನೂರು ಜನ ಪ್ರತಿ ದಿವಸ ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ತುಂಬ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸನ್ನು ನಿಮಗೆ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಗೆ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಕೆಲವಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಮಾತ್ರ ತಗೊಂಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಏನೋ ಆದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ನ ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಚ್ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ಗೆ ಹೋದರೆ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ ಹೋದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ಗೂ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಬೇರೆ ಊರಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ನಲ್ಲ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಉಳಿದಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿಟಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಕಂಡು ಕಂಡಲ್ಲಿ ಓಡಾಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸಿನ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇರುತ್ತದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ದಯಮಾಡಿ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ಗೆ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಕಳಕಳಿಯ ವಿನಂತಿಯನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮೊದಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ
thanks chairman for a fabulous uh, welcome address and uh, information share with the members friends uh, it is my pleasure to introduce the chief guest uh, for the day dr bv murali krishna a master of veterinary science phd before joining a commercial tax department he worked as instructor and assistant professor at veterinary college bidar he joined commercial taxes department in the year 1997 dr murli krishna attended training program and workshop conducted in india and abroad he has conducted several lectures and workshops at institutes like fkcci kr kashya pinya industry association and many other institutions conducted the awareness and demo hands on training program of electronic uploading of purchase and uh, sales statement eu pass which was a precursor to gst to dealers practitioners and other stakeholders across the state he spoke at tedx christ university on prism of possibilities during february 2016 lectures on eu pass and works contract live programs on tax matters were conducted and local kannada tv channel like uh, chandana udaya news etv tv9 suvarna and english news channel currently he is a joint commissioner of commercial taxes bangalore in appeals with this brief introduction please join me to welcome dr murli krishna before moving further let us seek almighty's blessings through lighting the lamp so i request uh, dignitaries on the dais and also our mc members to join to light the lamp Short for a very short time. I used to speak for a very long time for hours together. 
But still, I could able to. I thought, okay, people didn't call me for uh, giving a lecture on nine, nine C, nine A, nine C. Yeah. See, the reason is that you know already how things were going across from the last so many months. The introduction of GST for one seven two thousand seventeen. Till date, we have seen enough circulars, enough notifications, enough uh, amendments. Amendments are very few. In, in fact, the circulars and notifications are quite a lot in that. But I only hope uh, that this date should not extend it once again. I think you all are expecting it. Whether 30th June 2019 will be the last date for the 1718 uh, annual returns to file. But one thing you people should remember, I don't want to get into too much of issues on that. Yes, you must be very careful in filing your returns. Because there is no revision of final return that please note. And recent judgments of Telangana and the Telangana uh, CBAC Directorate that have issued on uh, instructions and delayed uh, payment of uh, uh, delayed returns and payment of interest and all that. One has to be very careful. A lot of uh, um, what I can say, professionalism has to be get into that. Too much of work is there for you people. Over uh, files annual return nine for all the people, all the taxable people, you have to file the annual return nine. That. Uh, as per section 44 and 9c only for the I haven't done more than 2 crore and it has to be audited by the child account you professionals uh, immense work on that particular job remember and uh, input tax once again uh, yes there is once again there is a small changes in the original uh, 99c what has been notified and what has been modified in 99c the headings and all that Whatever declared has been changed to main uh, in the books of means books of accounts you are comparing with your annual return. Remember, and what something is not claimed once you can't get it back in the annual return. That's the biggest uh, means. You, whatever the corrections you could have made, you could have made now itself. Whatever uh, the three and three PS we filing, all the three PS should have been filed. And uh, two, I think uh, reconciliation was given uh, recently. Things are more on changing because a lot of defaulters are there. Because a lot of defaulters are there, for the buyers to reconcile the statement of accounts is not that easy. That is a big challenge. And uh, unless until all the returns are filed, I think annual cannot be filed. That's another, uh, this one is there. Means to say, let us see whether it is going to stand the same way or once again some restructure, rethinking is going to happen. All that you have to look into it. But it's not new that uh, annual return concept for uh, any uh, tax administration, which was there in the earlier uh, tax administration too, as uh, we used to say 240 in our uh, annual statement. Now it's called as annual return as uh, 9. But one thing, one second, except few like uh, non taxable, uh, non resident taxable persons and input service distributors and uh, TDS and TCS and the casual taxable person, they need not file the annual return. That's a 9 GST form 9 right? that they need not file but all the tax people other than that they have to file the form 9 and 9c once again I repeat once again it's more than 2 crore that I know has it has to be audited to the certified child accountant and the or the cost account as a case may be as per 35 of the GST Act and it's basically a reconciliation of all your uh, the business transactions nothing beyond it but you may say, sir, tumba kashta hai hai. Kashta hai hai. Kashta hai laan thera la. That I think Annapurna has, uh, uh, Shivaram Bhattrela, Annapurna Shivaru, she will go to make it a more simplified aspect of how it can be gone through. And suddenly the government is not uh, agonized for uh, restructuring or rethinking about it because unless until we come up as we may not understand. Actually already so much of draft has been taken up, so much of corrections have been done. But still, the changes are imminent. We have to accept the change. Mm. What I always say, uh, change is imminent. What? Without change, uh, I don't think we would have traveled so far. If the GST wouldn't have been implemented without the change. So let us accept the change and let's move forward. And whatever the nitty gritty is, and I'm not there as a spokesman of any authority to say that what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. As I, we are, we are also onlookers. And uh, filing of annual returns, we are going to watch it ends for the year because the time is short, uh, 30, 30, uh, 60 days the time is. So suddenly we are going to get up from the next month onwards to take it out. And one thing, another thing I wanted to share you people, and yesterday is uh, 
the office memorandum of uh, government of uh, India, the Department of Revenue, they come out with uh, one committee to con they have constituted all uh, commissions of uh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Gujarat, and Maharashtra, West Bengal, and Department of Revenue. And my ex commissioner and the present commission is also on the member. There will be a drastic change in the GST. Means to say, what actually we envisage uploading of purchase invoices and uh, sales invoices. I think uh, one step forward, that's the ultimate step. I think e invoice generation, that's what they are thinking of. So the committee has been constituted, they are working on that. And one finally, I don't think, I think, I don't think that this 3B, 3 and 9, 9, everything will take a back seat. But for days time, it will be there for 5 to 6 years, it may be there. But once that e invoicing comes into picture, I think uh, there will be drastic changes in the accounting pattern, business uh, aspects. Yesterday it has been notified. They are going to look into that. And we are also being co opted and we will be working on that particular aspect of e invoicing. That's what I thought uh, let me share. And now please uh, bear with the uh, whatever the decisions what you have of different states, look into that because this is a different uh, change ball game altogether. The GST, let us not look into it very conservatively. A lot of issues are into that. But look into very meticulously your accounts and your audit and you have to finalize. And you have to do it in the same way. But one thing you please remember, there is no revision of it revision option. They may extend, I don't know, but uh, revision option, I don't think they gave it for this annual return. Even in VAT 240, there was no revision of uh, as such. It was what actually used to file, used to accept. And enough time has been given because it, it should have been December 2018, it should have been filed. Now it's already uh, 2019, a uh, lot of time has been given. So please look into that and make your uh, uh, people to work very uh, steadfastly and looking to the notifications of circulars and that particular, see, you are not going to read all the notifications or circulars for all the business entities. Pertain to that particular aspect, you have to look into that very meticulously. I hope, uh, at least in all aspects, the Karnataka has stood always first in, let the EV bill verification and filing the compliance, monitoring, everything we are working very uh, Hard. And we'll, once again, we'll come back to the field to educate the uh, tax practitioners and the consultants and we'll have our own uh, GST help desk. We'll look forward to have a proactive approach so that we'll have a more uh, filing of annual returns. That may, we may work towards next data analytics. So that is further, we'll take it to further. We are working with IIMB once again. We are the licensing officers for that. And uh, with the returns, whatever it is, to find the gaps in between, we further to refine for the policy as well as for the giving a better service to the taxpayers. Okay, okay, it's not that only to collect the taxes; it's like giving a better taxpayers to the services. In that, a uh, lot of work in the department is also taking up, like the capacity building at IMB or uh, IMF uh, Tata. Uh, recently, we have been to the one. Uh, of course, actually, I was one of the participants in that the tax administration of diagnostic assessment tool. We are going to assess our own administrations across the states to see where we stand and where we can go for what all we can do in that particular aspect. So with that uh, prelude, I request the workshop to be a grand success and as the lighting lamp we are done, let it be a very grand success on that so that and if each and everybody will get educated and uh, see that any issues are there, you can get back to our uh, help desk or to the professionals or to us itself. Wherever issues are there, we will try to clarify. We have enough WhatsApp group we have already. And information are flowing like water. Okay. And people are responding immediately. And we can make that as a very good uh, uh, base. And we can cultivate and we can work on that particular aspect. We can see that filing of the annual returns is smooth, seamless. And I hope GS10 doesn't come in the way of uh, technical glitches at the time of last filing of annual returns, if the same thing happens at every 20th of every month, you please see that you file in advance, so that uh, that kind of delay should not happen. And let's look forward and let us make our Karnataka stand proud, see that more of annual returns are filed in the state of Karnataka. Thank you and thanks for giving an opportunity to give me a welcome address and to deliver a lecture. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, sir, for a very informative and inspiring address. Thank our guest with a round of applause. <laughs> Friends, uh, it is my privilege to propose vote of thanks for this inaugural session. On behalf of Bangalore branch of SAIRC of ICAI, and on my own behalf, our special thanks to our chief guest, Dr. B. V. Murli Krishnan. He has readily agreed and uh, spared his precious time and shared his knowledge with us. Please thank him with a round of applause. As a token of appreciation and gratitude, now I request the brand chairman to present a memento to our chief guest. Friends, please thank our guest once again. Our sincere thanks to our uh, technical session speakers, particularly Annapurna Karba Madam and uh, C.A. Venugopal and other two more speakers going to come. Thank them with a round of applause. <laughs> Last uh, but not least, special thanks to each one of you, your active participation, your uh, eagerness to learn, make this program a successful one. Thank you very much, each one of you. Happy learning. Mr. Divya to take it forward.